Polish Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Dine Out. So we are here with part two and we are actually gonna open Millie's Diner Cafe, not Diner, why did I say Diner? Millie's Place Up to the public today. It is actually the next day. I yesterday just kind of had her hang around town, meet some new people and things like that. She introduced herself to the chef. So she actually wants to become friends with Nelson, which is actually really cute that she actually wants to become friends with one of her employees. I just thought that was a really cute thing. I cannot see my screen right now. Sorry if the lighting's like terrible in this part. The sun has just come out like and it's so cloudy it's like 8 p.m when i'm recording this i don't know how the sun's out but it is and it's decided that it wants to mess up my face cam so we just gotta deal with it but yeah she's kind of just got ready for the day she's kind of got up a little bit late i did want to get up her, her up earlier but she wasn't having any of it she just stayed in bed for a while so she's gonna go cook some uh fruit salad for herself so that she can um open up the store once she is eaten. I mean, she could probably cook something up and actually eat it um, with the common folk, <laughs> with the peasants downstairs, but we aren't gonna do that. We're just gonna um, cook our own up here and then we will open up the thing. Cause I actually, uh... <laughs> she's actually a good cook. I have um, given her a majority of skills, like a really wide range. I tend to do this when I start a Let's Play because it's like, you don't just start off in life like that and as a young adult, you don't know any skills. So I did add in some skills for her. She's a level seven baking, five charisma, seven comedy, uh, six cooking, two gardening. She's not very good at gardening, but I thought it was like a little pastime she could have maybe. Um, five in gourmet cooking, Three in handiness, five in logic, three in mixology, two in painting, three in piano, violin, she is the best at. She has played violin since being a little kid. The annoying thing is, it says she cannot sit at a table that is not hers. She actually owns this table. She owns all the tables in this place, but she isn't allowed to sit on one because she hasn't said, this is my table, which is... So annoying, but oh well. I'm gonna get rid of that anyway. I'll probably put in a breakfast bar, maybe over here. Um, so just like two counters and some uh, things and get rid of this bit because, you know, we may as well just have a breakfast bar if she can't actually sit at a table. I don't know whether she'd be able to sit at a breakfast bar or whether it would still say she isn't allowed to sit there. I'm not too sure, but we'll wait and see. I'll play around with it, test what works. If not, she can always just sit on her sofa. I mean, that's fine too. Right, I'm gonna stick this in her bin. And then I think we are going to, let me double check. Uh, this is only, so we are allowed to allow access to employees. So this is for everyone but employees that it's locked for. And this is everyone but employees as well, just double checking. And we are gonna open up Millie's place for the first time. I'm gonna actually uh, turn on all lights for this just so we have a better. Better view, the restaurant is now open and customers are ready to arrive and eat delicious food. So she just got here, the host, which is good. Uh, we're gonna manage her and we're actually going to pay for her training. So we're gonna give her a brief training because um, when she gets off work, that means she'll actually go uh, do some training and stuff. But here we go. Marcus Flex is our first customer. This is our grand opening of Millie's place. So he is our very, very first customer, which is awesome. Our chef is here, which is... Oh, wait, who's he? He's the waiter. Maybe I should lock this door for employees as well. You know what? I am going to because they're just going to go up there. So we're going to lock this door for everyone because the employees are actually... Oh, no, dude, get out. Right, allow access to employees. What's he doing? He's reading through our rubbish. Oh, my God. Omar, what are you doing? Why are you going through our rubbish? That's a little bit creepy. That is not how you impress your new boss, my friend. Seriously, he's just rooting through our rubbish. Get out of there. 
Hmm, training, after my shift, are you helping me to improve or are you trying to tell me that I'm not good enough? Either way, I better study hard. Yeah, it's gross because you just rooted through our rubbish. That is absolutely disgusting. Why? Oh, I hope you're going to wash your hands, mister. You aren't going to touch everyone's food after that. Right, we're going to lock this door for everyone but Millie. So Millie's the only one allowed up here, or else it's going to get weird. Right, we should go check on uh, check on a couple of our customers. So management, we're going to go welcome these guys. Uh, can we welcome okay. both of them, or is it just like one person? But yeah, we're going to go um, welcome them. Host, get back to work. Is our chef here? Yeah, our chef is here. Dude, you're not allowed up there. Why are you trying? He can't... How is he allowed in? He's going to get back through our rubbish. What is he doing? He needs to be a waiter and he's not even taking anyone's order. Are you freaking kidding me? Omar, I'm going to fire you if you don't stop going through my rubbish. This is our first day. Get out. Get out. Go do your job that you're meant to do, you weirdo. What a little freak. She's having a chat with Jeffrey. Oh my god, right. Maybe I need to reset this door. Right, I'm going to unlock it. Lock door for everyone but Millie. He shouldn't be allowed in there. I don't know why he is. Right, what are we doing? Um... These guys are choosing to sit outside, actually. So uh, Mortimer and Jeffrey actually want to sit outside, which is quite cute. Uh, let's go uh, welcome them. Let's go check on these guys. This guy is not doing anything. Right, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's check this out. Uh, what does he say about it? Oh, he's gone up to four. I think that means a good environment. Um... But he's not actually taking their order. What's she doing? She's checking on the table. Okay, that's good. He's ordering for them. So at least Omar's actually doing his job right now, which is quite nice. Dude, why are you reading? I'm stopping by to make sure this restaurant is living up to your expectations so far. Dude, do your fucking job. Stop trying to read. <laughs> what a weirdo. Is he going back upstairs? Better not be. Don't mess up our kitchen. He just took a book out. What a weirdo. I'm going to fire him if he doesn't pull his crud together. Let's go check up on their table. And, uh... We're gonna, we need to praise her. She's being a good host. I might need to come down hard on Omar and say, dude, you need to pull your finger out of that bottom and uh, do some work, proper work. But Marcus is a, st all this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. He's liking his thing. He is liking it. The uh, chef's, um, I'm stopping by to make sure this restaurant is living up to your expectations so far. He's only got a two star. I wish this place had a more friendly service. Well, then we're going to come welcome you. What's more friendly than that? Nothing. Where does he keep putting this book? I don't know why he's carrying around a book. Kind of doesn't make sense to me. Legit don't know what he's doing. Okay, there we go. He's got their food, which is good. But here we go. Wow, this place has some nice decor. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I agree. We do have some very nice decor. And he's gone up to a three, which is quite nice. Right, we need to tell him to pick up his job. Manage Omar. Right, we need to criticize him. Sorry, Omar. I know it's going to put you in a bad mood, but you need to get into the zone. This is our first day, and if I can't trust you, you know, I thought you'd be some nice eye candy for the older women. But you're just not doing your job. You're just not up to scratch. <laughs> Millie. Why are you so hard on me, Mrs. Roberts? I'm doing my best. I don't think you are, my friend. I, I really don't think you're doing your best. He, this guy's waiting a while. This food is standing getting cold. You know, if you were doing your best, you'd be doing better than this. So... Uh, we're going to prioritize their food. These guys actually already had their food. He went for a pancakes and she went for uh, just a bread roll and a coffee, a mocha. Um, 
but yeah, I feel like we're doing well. I mean, he's a four, which is nice. Uh, Jacques having a little read, which is quite nice. Oh no, he's actually just hiding up for us. So there we go. We prioritize their food. I'm going to make sure your meal is top priority. It will be out shortly. And boom, it is out. Ooh, we know who the alcoholic is. Jeffrey Langrab. Ooh. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere in the world, right? <laughs> Just not right here right now. <laughs> oh man, he's gone for a wine, which is quite funny. Um, excuse me, Marcus, why are you in the kitchen? You probably shouldn't be in here, my friend, but that's all right. Right, we should probably pay for everyone's training. We're gonna give him some brief training and uh, we're also gonna pay for brief training for uh, him as well. So let's just tell them, we, we got both fours off them, OMG. Thanks, I appreciate you investing in my future here. I'll go to a class next time I'm off work. Jack, your food's here. It's been served, my friend. He's just not eating it. So we're just gonna get everyone into the training program and uh, try to do that. Thanks, I appreciate you investing in my future here. I'll go to a class next time I'm off. So um, are there any other customers? No, I think there are only ones. So we got three in like the first couple of hours. Let's check how many hours we've been open. Ooh, we got four reviews though. We're one and a half star guys. One and a half star. We're getting there. All right, we should probably tidy up. Um, Millie, why don't you come clean up? She's playing this game. I think she's practicing actually, but yeah, we'll go clean up because he's apparently not doing any of it. I think he's in a bad mood though, so it's probably why he's not cleaning up. Omar, pull your finger out of your bum and actually clean up, please. Like, are you serious? This is meant to be the waiter's job. I'm not meant to run around collecting dishes. I am the manager, I will have you know. Oh no, we got a restaurant critic. Oh, what do we do when we have a critic? Uh, I guess we should go welcome her. I mean, oh, I don't like having a critic. Oh, our first day, that's a little bit harsh. She's a critic as well. Oh, jeez. We got two critics here. Right, let's welcome her as well. I'm so scared, guys. We have two critics. Our first day? Are you serious? How is this happening? How have they heard about us? We don't even have any advertisement. I don't understand, but we should go welcome them. We should go make our friendly service. Where are you guys actually sitting, though? I don't know. Are they sitting together? Who knows? Okay, she's sat here. Oh no. She's taking notes. I don't like it. I definitely don't like it. Right, let's clean up. I know he's meant to be doing this, but... Go on, go go tell her, Millie. There you go. She's gonna go over to her. Martha Yee, please give us a good review. Please. I think Jack actually liked it, uh, which is quite nice. We've got a meal profit of 108, which isn't bad. We have five reviews as well. Um, we've apparently got excellent ambiance, but we need to work on our meal quality and service, which isn't good. Um, right, let's check on the table. Where's this other one gone? Where's the other food critic? Oh, she's over here. The sim has already been welcomed. She's not actually sat at the table though. Please dude, take her, take her order. I'm begging you. I legit don't know what to do. She's got four stars currently though. I don't think this woman's actually been put at a table. No, she hasn't. Okay, so he's going over to these guys first, which is annoying. I wish we could take someone's order as a, we should give her complimentary food. The Sims must receive their meal to have their complimentary food. Should we just bribe her? <laughs> Should we just be like, we really want a good review from you. Um, so we're gonna give you complimentary food on the house. There you go, have fun. <laughs> That's so bad if we were to do that. Okay, she's already been welcomed. Um, Millie, don't go upstairs. Um, okay, we should go welcome these guys. We haven't actually welcome them. We're gonna prioritize their food. Okay, there we go. He's actually, he's working all right now, Omar. You know, he had a little bit of a bumpy start, but he's doing all right. I'm keeping a close eye on him though. 
Uh, the chef's doing very well. He's just been like making food and stuff, which is quite good. And the host has been really, really well. So uh, we're gonna praise her because I feel like she's done very well. So let's do that. Let's check up on their table. And let's check up on hers. Uh, your food will be out before you can say gastronomy, which is good. Oh god, I don't like how she's writing notes. But she feels special, which is nice. I mean, that's how you- that's how we want Millie's to feel. Oh, look at Millie. She's like, you're doing such a good job. Wonderful. I tried to be a model employee and it looks like my effort is paying off. Have you made their food yet? Okay, yeah. Omar, you need to get out of here, dude. Okay, he's just taking her order, which is nice. And uh, we have welcomed her. Right, um, we need to also prioritize her food. We should prioritize hers as well. Um, we'll do that in a sec though. She's still a three. This this woman's feeling it a little bit more. She is definitely feeling our uh, our cafe a little bit more. Right, let's um. Uh, the chef will cook more quickly at the expense of meal quality. Now we're gonna keep it as a thingy, but we are gonna praise him. You are too important to wait. I'm gonna make sure your food comes out pronto. Oh no! She's got a negative wait time. Omar, get back in there, dude. Her food's ready. Oh, she's gone back to a three. I'm not very happy about the wait times here. That's Omar! Oh, that's so annoying. Um... Let's prioritize her food. Omar, you made her go down to a three. She was a four for so long. Okay, it's like 4 p.m. I feel like we're gonna close at around like six-ish. Um, so I don't think, we're gonna actually disallow new customers because I think, uh, I don't think we'll be able to serve many people. You know, it's kind of like a cafe, so I feel like five or six would be a good time to close. So we're actually gonna, yeah, disallow new customers um, just for now. Here we go. Omar's bringing out her food, which is good. Right, we're gonna clean this up. Oh, I can't believe she's gone down to a three, but she does like the prices. Um, a four from a food critic would have been really, really nice. But unfortunately, Omar took too long. All this attention from the owner is making me feel special. Ooh, she went for a mac and cheese. She's writing about it though. She looks dead like professional as well. I don't know what's giving me the professional vibe, but I'm getting it from her and I don't think I like it. <laughs> I'm quite scared, quite honestly. Um, what's Omar doing? What is he doing? Three star review. It's hard to say if this restaurant is a glass half full or half empty. I guess it quenched my thirst. Dine here if your favorite color is beige. Beige what? Are you serious? Uh, uh, we don't have any beige in our thing. Actually we do, this is beige. But that's a little bit rude. I mean, we're very colorful. She's just eating a brownie. Dude, where did you get that brownie from? Are these counters not working because i did make brownies so i might have to change the counters she might have placed them underneath which is a little bit weird have sim dude nothing social we're on two and a half guys after our first oh she's gone up to a four this place has great prices omg if we get a four star off a food critic on our first day of opening, I'm gonna be so freaking impressed. I'm just gonna wait for her to uh, actually be uh, finished and then we're gonna close up for the day. Um, but oh my God, that's so good. We're also gonna check up on him. I can't believe that. <gasps> Come on, stay as a four. Four star review. The cheerful staff went the extra mile to make my meal perfect. I recommend putting your trust in the chef and ordering the chef's choice. Dine here to experience what quality service should be. That's such a good review for our first day. I'm so proud. We're three and a half stars already, guys. Nine reviews on our first day. Oh my goodness, we should celebrate. Holy smokes, that's like insane. 
Like, that's genuinely the best news ever. Right, we're gonna close up. So there we go, Millie's place. We had nine customers served. We were open for a hardcore 10 hours. You know, we, we did quite a lot. Um, we had 339 sales, um, but we lost money on uh, ingredients and also wages. So our net profit was only 63 simoleons, but you know, as we start earning more and our uh, thing goes up, then I feel like we'll be doing well. So yeah, three and a half stars for our first day is insane. So the customer reviews, uh, our growth opportunities are service. Try training your hosts and waiters to level up their skills. Improving their moods will also improve their service. Uh, meal quality, try training your chefs to level up their cooking skills. Make sure they're able to properly prepare your menu. No one complained about bad food though. So I feel like one and two were a good choice for the meal quality. Uh, your restaurant's inviting decor makes it talk of the town. Yay! So that's what I wanted. I wanted to be it like we were at home. So he's skilling up in his gourmet cooking and he's also skilling up in mixology. Uh, he's skilling up in charisma and fitness and she's going for charisma and um, she's going to training for comedy, which is awesome. So... We're doing well. I feel like that was good for our first day. But yeah, we finished now. Um, work is what work is. It's just a means to an end for me. Dude, that's not what you want to hear when you're a chef. But there we go. Everyone's going to clock off. Bye, guys. Thanks for having such a productive first day. You, like, were all awesome. Oh, Millie really needs to pee. Sorry, Millie. I completely ignored her needs. Um, but yeah, I felt like that was an awesome day. We should probably try and invite someone to like hang out or something. I don't know. I feel like Millie kind of does want to get to know the town a bit. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's anyone around who we want to be friends with. Sorry guys, my dog was going crazy. Who's this? She looks like she could... Oh, she's a bit snotty. Uh, do we want to be friends with Micah? I feel like we probably would be friends with Micah. I feel like all the like popular sims that people know, I feel like we would be friends with them. So we're going to go give her a cheerful introduction. See if she actually um, like maybe wants to hang out or maybe wants to get to know us a little bit. She looks cool, but she's a teen. I would introduce myself to her. Whoa, she's like color comboed her hair to her outfit. Girl, you are on point right now. I'm head to toe working it. I mean, incredible. Incredible color formation. I'm just really, really impressed. <laughs> we probably would want to be friends with her considering we're like into fashion. Um, right, we're going to tell her a knock-knock joke and we're also going to brighten her day a little bit. She is part of the avant-garde, so we're going to talk to her about her favorite author. I think she'd like that. <gasps> Bella's is coming this way. Oh my God, guys, Bella got, <gasps> oh my God. She's like Sims royalty. It's 7 p.m. though. We kind of need to uh, make some food. Um, should we just ask her to hang out? See if she wants to do it. Uh, more choices. Oh, she's walking off. Fine then, Micah, it's fine. Totally didn't want to hang out with you anyway. You know, totally cool. We'll just, we'll just go hang out by ourselves. Let's go make some dinner. Actually, I think we already have dinner in. Yeah, we made some chili in the last night, so we're gonna have some chili. Probably uh, watch some. Oh, what? What? Can you not go up there? I didn't lock it for you, Millie. Okay, don't know why she couldn't have the chili, but she can go upstairs. So I'm gonna send her up, and then we are going to open. Grab a serving of chili. Go on. Get that chili. And we're probably going to watch a romance film. Why not? You know, I'm sure she'd love a good romance film. Oh, I still can't believe he didn't even wash his hands. What a dirty little waiter. That's why I had to say you need to get better at your job. Because he was just being silly, wasn't he? I mean... He definitely wasn't the best waiter. I mean, he rooted through our rubbish, which is not what you do to your manager. And then he also like went and served people without washing his hands like a dirty little sim. Gross. Absolutely disgusting, Omar. But you know what? 
He picked it up a little bit. He didn't do too badly, considering it was his first day. It feels really weird to be playing with one sim. It feels like I haven't played with a single sim in so long. I don't think on my channel ever, actually, I've played with a single sim. I've had current households with single sims, but thinking about it now, I don't think I've ever started a let's play with a single sim, so... You know, we're pushing out the boundaries here, guys. We're kind of going for a more English, um, like, variation of a Let's Play. And we're doing something a little bit quirky. Or I feel it's quirky. I feel as if she is quite a quirky sim, you know. Uh, with, from her fashions to her, like, choices in life. I just love her. I think she's so adorable. She's probably one of my favourite sims I've ever created. Which I know I say so often but it's true millie is adorable and i really really like her but i think i'm gonna end this part here guys she's just really gonna go to bed and stuff but that was a successful first day for a dine out let's play i feel like that opening day was amazing we got a four star review from a food critic like how does that happen on a first day? But I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please do give this video a big thumbs up if that that if there are any tips that you want me to know, then let me know in the comments because you guys really help me out for tips and things like that. I think I get the gist of it though. I think I get the gist of restaurants and things. I am having a lot of fun with it as well. I like how we can kind of take a back seat and we can like step in when necessary, like to clean up or to uh, tell someone to get the finger out of their bums. Um, but I do like it that we can kind of, yeah, take a step back and enjoy it and kind of like play games and talk to the customers and things like that and make them feel welcomed and special which is what Millie's is all about so thank you guys so much for watching I do hope you all enjoyed and I will speak to you all in the next part bye guys